This week, the announcement came out that uh, interim superintendent Ron Stevens had been uh, extended as a full-time superintendent, given a one-year contract. We talked to Melissa Power, one of two who voted no, along with the board president, Pat Murphy, earlier this week. Yesterday, two of the uh, three yes votes, Jackie Long and Damon Wright. Let's uh, say good morning right now to the new superintendent of schools in Berkeley County, Ron Stevens. Ron, good morning. Thanks for coming in. Uh, good morning. How are you doing? Excellent. Thank you. We appreciate you carving out some time to uh, make this stop along the way this morning. Always a, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. So how did the process go for you as it uh, eventually came to the time to renew you or make a decision to look elsewhere? Where, where were you along the way? And was this planned on this date? Because it seemed like it was like it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Oh, it happened. Okay. Kind of started suddenly. Well, uh, you know, the, the, the process is, uh, is laid out. Um, uh, they, they started this uh, on January the 1st. Uh, law says that you, you have to uh, wait till January 1st to be able to, to, to discuss all of that. From the time that I was named as, as interim, we knew that there was going to be a period of time where there was, um, you know, the, the search was going to be taking place. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thankful that I was able to be a part of that. Uh, this, these are goals of uh, personal goals for me to be able to stay in Berkeley County and, mm -hmm. and, and work here. So the, the process itself, um, uh, was pretty intense. You know, it was, a uh, you know, put out, um, regional and national, uh, search and, uh, the applicants that, that applied for the position. Uh, I was not privy to all of that all of that information as an applicant myself. So, um, you know, I just know that uh, the process that I had to go through, uh, multiple multiple interviews, uh, it was pretty thorough. And uh, you know, I appreciated the board's uh, efforts in in putting forth a, a thorough investigation and uh, and process. So, I'm just thankful that uh, in the end. Um, I get to continue my, my tenure here in Berkeley County. It was the three to two vote and a one year contract. Some, when that news was reported, said to me they felt like it was a mixed message the board was sending and not a strong message. Uh, your thoughts on the three to two vote and the one year contract? Well, um, you know, personally, I felt and you know felt a little disappointed in the beginning, but uh, I know that. We'll work to make Berkeley County Schools a better place, and I know that every member of this board, uh, that's their that's their goal. Uh, the one year contract, um, you know, again, I felt like it was a little, I was a little disappointed in, in that for um, you know for consistency's sake, but um, not daunted at all. I, I believe in the in the the staff here in Berkeley County and uh, the team that is around. You know our administrative team at the at the central office, along with um, everyone in our schools. So, I believe that uh, this is just the beginning. The people in the past who have complained to me about the superintendent's position, uh, to me, seem to be the same people who are supporting you this time around. The, the people who complained in the past, uh, Berkeley County should have a person who knows the system, who came up in the system. Uh, who who will work for a reasonable amount of money. Some people are offended by the salaries, right? And uh, this one-year contract at 185 for, for a person who's come through the system, knows it inside and out, would seem to have fit the bill for many of the critics of those who have made these selections uh, in the past. I understand why you would be disappointed in the one-year contract, uh, but from my own personal perspective, I think the board made the right choice. Obviously, I wasn't in to look at all the different resumes, but you're someone who fits the bill of what a lot of the critics of past superintendents uh, wanted. Well, I, um, I'm certainly not doing this for uh, uh, the critics, um, but I understand where that comes from. Uh, I believe strongly in, in relationships, um, and I, I think that you can only build those through time and trust. So i I believe that the um, the process led them to the person that had the best opportunity to to continue to build that trust and to continue to to um, to work with Berkeley County I, I I believe that it's been established that I chose to be here 
Uh, I choose to stay. Um, you know, so I'm I'm just excited about the opportunity. What do you think you have to do or accomplish over the next 12 months, Ron, to convince those two no voters to come to your side and the three yes voters to continue to support you? Uh, well, I, I think that we really need to focus on uh, keeping students first. Um, and, and this year was such a it was so outside the box compared to anything that anybody would have ever ex, uh, experienced before or expected. Uh, so I, I, I think it was very difficult for them to to actually judge what took place this year. Um, there's really not anything for the for them to compare that to. So, you know, I understand uh, their concern and and wanting to to walk before you run. Um, the, the, new dynamic of our, of our board this year is starting to 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 take shape a little bit as, as the year progressed um so what do i need to do i need to make sure that that we continue to progress that you know the promises that we made in the in the fall during our during our um uh bond presentations that we're able to continue that as we um begin and and eventually start to complete projects that that are laid out and um, I think it, it it's important that we continue to build relationships with a one-year commitment can you afford to implement a grand vision or do you have to keep the train on the tracks and running on time in that one-year time frame well that's there's a delicate balance there with that absolutely I, I understand that um, but I think that you it, it's dangerous not to have uh, a long-term vision so I think that we need to you know we need to focus on securing highly qualified staff to to have in front of our students and we need to provide continue to provide multiple um, pathways for student success and and plan our future based on that um, but yes I, I think that there is a, a there is a mentality we've, we've got to keep this thing going in the right direction so you know it's a delicate balance you got to do a little bit of both do you have a grand vision you'd like to implement in the school system and if so can you at least highlight some of it for us well absolutely i i talked a little bit about it there um just a second ago i think it's it's the highest importance to have the most important piece to a quality education is the person that's in front of the, that student on a daily basis so we've got to make sure that that we're Putting highly qualified staff in front of our students—that that has to be paramount. Paramount. Um, continuing to offer a variety of uh, pathways for success, we we need to make sure that we're offering that to, to our students. Uh, increasing the rigor, um, making sure that they're ready for the challenges that life that life provides. Those are things that we we have to maintain. In doing that, we're going to uh, take a look at our student achievement. Make sure that we're we're um, able to provide the students what they need so that they can uh, achieve uh, after high school um, and then they become members of our community that's that's the ultimate goal we will be taking a look at our uh, at the new discipline code that that legislation uh, has recently put in um, our board has implemented um, a committee uh, at the most recent board meeting and we'll be working with them to evaluate things there um, but I think it comes down to uh, making sure that we have the right people in front of our students uh, and try to provide as much stability there as possible. Billy. Yeah, good morning, Ron. Thanks good morning. for coming in. Uh, let's go back to this one-year contract. Uh, you said you were disappointed. I am surprised. Uh, generally, you do not bring someone in for one year. That whether it's intended or not there's a perception problem there that somebody still has to prove themselves and somebody coming from the outside i would say that's somewhat understandable even though most folks coming from the outside you're still given the benefit of a multi-year contract uh if something goes wrong you can always void it but you're given the benefit of multi-year contract uh in your case you're a proven quantity uh, so i i'm i'm surprised you say you're disappointed but uh 
the issue that Rob mentioned a second ago, I think, is very real. Uh, within a finite period of time, that's what you have right now, a finite period of time, uh, you've got to keep the trains running, keep them on schedule. That's the number one priority. Can you, in fact, have the time and the flexibility to do some other things that are needed? And this past year, we've seen a lot of things needed. Uh, the security in schools have become very paramount. You've got to take an aggressive approach there. Uh, students are still recovering from the the COVID absence for quite a while. Uh, there's a teacher shortage, a great demands on teacher. You've had recently had a computer problem, which I hope we can talk about. Uh, the, so my point is, there's a lot of pressure on you, a lot of pressure to to recover in cases and to ensure that we do not have the same problem in the past. And this comes back to that one year contract. Pardon me for being overly long and setting the stage up, but I do think there was a, uh, uh, there is a perception that is, is unfortunate. Well, um, that's a mouthful. Yeah, <laughs> that is a mouthful. mouthful. Yeah. Now, now you know what I do with every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, Ron. It's got to be tough, Rob. It's got to be tough. <laughs> but he does it with a smile on his face. <laughs> um, it, you know, just to try to pull apart the things that you that you brought uh, forth in, in that in that comment. Um, you know, focusing on the one year. Yeah, I, I mentioned I, I'm I'm disappointed in that. I would like to be a part of Berkeley County for a long term. Um, uh, I'd like to to finish my career here. Um, but again, I've said I I understand the dynamics uh, that that led us to this point. I don't always agree with everything, but one thing I will say about our board and and me, we we feel um, students' needs come first. And as long as as long as I know that 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 is what is the most important, uh, I think we can make things make things work. Um, so asking about what do I need to do or or what do we need to do, I, I think it's it, it goes back to kind of what Rob was saying. There are we've got to keep the train moving forward. Yeah. We can't lose sight of what's uh, in front of us, um, and we. We, I, I care enough about Berkeley County that I am not going to allow it to have a um, allow us to have a um, a, a down period of time, uh, um, a lame duck sure. uh, a, approach to that. So hopefully we'll we'll be moving in the right direction, and uh, as as our board starts to gain momentum and I start to gain momentum. Um, you know, maybe it'll turn into an extended period of time. Sure, hope so. Uh, Ron, I mentioned the, the computer problem. We have not mm -hmm. heard much about that recently. Uh, can you update us where we are, and has the problem been resolved? Well, that is, uh, you know, that's a, that's a really big issue that, uh, that took place. Um, and... We, we're continuing to make progress on that. We are continuing to work with with the uh, Board of Risk, BRIM, which is our yeah. Board of yeah. Risk uh, Insurance Management uh, Group, and the the personnel that they have connected us with. We, like I said, this is something that we, we're dealing with every single day, and uh, we're continuing to get back to where we were and even make improvements to that. So our um you know implementing a crowd strike program um we are we are improving uh and we're we've got that locked in for uh the coming year to make sure that we uh, that we don't fall back to where we were so there, there's a lot that's built into that bill it's, yeah. it's hard to to say we're where we were yeah. uh we'll never be where we were we'll be in a different place so sure. Are you, still, are you still in a situation where there are certain things you can and cannot tell us that you're restricted on, Ron, or is that no longer the situation? Um, we are always cautious. Um, the, the part, we, we've got a little bit longer before we can, um, you know, put out the complete report to everyone. Uh, I think it was, uh, there's, a, there's a time period. That, that has to pass before we can do that. But we're also uh, have to use common sense. Um, you don't want to, you know, poke the bear, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And uh, if someone has has uh, seen fit to, 
to to uh, try to infiltrate your your network. You don't want to basically challenge them again uh, and say, "Oh, we're we're good. They'll never be able to do that again." Uh, so there's there's a balance on that as well. So we want to make sure that we're giving as much information as, a, a, out there as we can, and uh, providing the protection that all of our people deserve. Now, I, ask you, oh, good, yeah, no. I was going to say the uh, we all appreciate the fact that the computer network is a very complex, a very broad, and it's impossible to have total coverage or protection coverage. It's my understanding you did have you were you were conscious of the possibility, and you had taken steps for precautionary or prevention of something like this. It just wasn't wasn't enough. I'm not sure you could ever have just enough. Well, it's all subject to human error. It, yeah, yeah. You know, you're 100 percent, 100 percent correct. Um, it, it's, it's. You're only as safe as uh, the weakest link, and sometimes that weakest link is a human error. Um, I, I get an email and click on a link, it destroys everything yeah, else that everybody's yeah. ever done to try yes, to keep things. Yes, up. the 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 phishing uh, um, emails that are out there right now are, are are dangerous, and we 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 try to protect against that. We we have uh, uh, software to to try to help us with that, but it, you know we it, it comes down to education, and we really need to try to make sure it, it's whoever opens the door and lets people in, uh, whether you're talking about a brick and mortar physical situation mm -hmm. or a situation uh, on the um, uh, you know on our, on our network. It's the same thing. Is there another? Are there any other schools in West Virginia that have experienced something similar? Uh, there are schools that have had situations uh, very similar to what we have had, okay. uh, but this is not. It's not just West Virginia. It's mm -hmm. a, it's across the country. Um, you know, so number one, the state has laid out some of the the requirements that we have to have uh, and and provide for protection for the school systems. Um, we have gone above and beyond that by adding the the uh, the uh, program that I mentioned earlier, and you know again this is not just West Virginia. Uh, we we were dealing with um, a company who was working with us, uh, who was familiar with what had taken place in Los Angeles uh, back in um, September, um, and while we were dealing with them in February, March, and April. They were called in uh, for – this is happening to cities and, and to larger groups as well. It's not just schools. I want to ask you about the three new SROs mm -hmm. that uh, recently have been uh, agreed to. Uh, ask you about where the funding is going to come from those and how these came about. I know Eddie Gokenauer did a nice job of getting all parties together after Sheriff Harmon went public with his dissatisfaction of the progress of implementing school safety procedures uh, on this program, and I know that stirred a lot of the hornets and kicked the hornet's nest, so to mm -hmm. speak. Uh, but this announcement came shortly thereafter. Coincidence or not, I don't know, but you tell me uh, the, the development of this and the funding for it. Well, our uh, our, our our board presented um, a recommendation that we set aside funding for three additional uh, school resource officers uh, to to assist in our schools. Um, so we have been able to do that. We have utilized uh, some funding from our reserves to to uh, to move forward with that. Um, we're working with law enforcement to try to find the proper qualified people to be able to do that. It, it's it's difficult, just like there's a shortage of of teachers and everything and else, bus drivers and cooks and custodians and every in every other uh, field. Um, it's difficult to to um, recruit law enforcement as well. So, um, Ron, the, uh, the school security obviously encompasses personnel, but it encompasses other things as well, the hardening of the schools. All of this comes down to dollars. Uh, a lot of it comes down to dollars. Uh, how much discussion have you had with the legislators of the specific, not general needs, but specific needs that you need in our schools? I know you met with Mike Hornby recently one-on-one. Mm -hmm. -on -one about that we have spoken with legislators as a group we've spoken uh in, individually uh, on the record off the record you know in in passing and at, at at restaurants um at conferences 
uh, it seems to be a topic that that comes up everywhere. So, but excuse me, but uh, is the topic general in nature, or is it very specific? Have you given them a list of things that you need, that you feel you need, and a dollar uh, value to it? We we have in some situations we have, mm-hmm. uh, you know, um, and keeping that conversation at the forefront is is part of the informal part of it. Um, so. You know, I I think we talked about it earlier, uh, safety and security. Um, You know, chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And uh, there's there's a lot of human error that we we have to take care of. Um, Doors, latches, windows, having everything that that functions properly, having everything... um, the appropriate materials uh, at, in the buildings, uh, increasing from our bond, we're going to have safer school entrances uh, because it's um, it, it's something that that we've identified as a need. So all of those things are are things that we have communicated, um, and we're trying to get some of that stuff built into sure. the uh, school formula, the school aid sure. formula. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some help with that. Ron, before we run out of time, I know you want to do a few announcements about some things coming up involved with the school system. Well, yes. Um, you know, I, I wanted to first of all say one of the things that we talked about here was putting, making sure that we have the qualified people in front of our, our students, how important that is. And we do have a recruitment event scheduled for May 16th at 430 at our central office. Um, so, you know, we're, we're putting that in the forefront and having these events on, on a regular basis. I want to take a moment to give a shout out to Rebecca Catlett, who is our teacher of the year. Congratulations. Uh, she, she's fantastic. Um, you know, among all the uh, things that she does in her classroom, creating the multilingual ambassadors program, uh, that is, um, you know, that just shows her ingenuity. She, she's, she's fantastic. I'll get, I'll get in touch with Elaine. Maybe we can get her on the program. That'd be great. That'd be great. I think she'd be, she would speak well of Berkeley County and, um, the, the Berkeley County Schools and its and, and our students. Next week, we'll uh, show appreciation for all of our teachers as it's Teacher Appreciation Week. Um, How will you do that, Ralph? Well, it, promotion, um, you know, our, our announcements that are going out, reminding the community, reminding parents, um, and uh, just little things at the schools for uh, to recognize them. Uh, it's, it's a large group of people, and we we couldn't we wouldn't be here without them. So, you know that I think that's extremely important. And and the goal uh, of education, of course, is graduation. I mentioned uh, before we got on the air. I'm excited about graduation week. We'll kick that off on May the 21st with our baccalaureate service at Hedgesville High School. Um, the last day for students is going to be uh, Friday, May the 26th. There will be a two-hour uh, early dismissal that day. So. Um, What's the last day for teachers? Um, the last day for te- well, the last day for teachers will be June the first, I believe, um, and uh, we get to uh, recognizing our retirees on June the fifth. So we have the whole gamut. We're trying to recruit new people, uh, celebrate the accomplishments of the students, uh, see us through the end of the season uh, or the, the year, and then recognize our retirees on June the 5th. So, Before you get off that point, Ron, do you know how many teachers will be retiring in Berkeley County don't schools? Have the, I don't have that number in front of me right now. We just I did just discuss that yesterday, as a mm-hmm. matter of fact. Um, so I should be able to to quote that number here relatively soon. And when will you know what your teacher needs are for the upcoming school year? We need everything, you know. So, um, looking at what we had with over 200 uh, perm subs this year, for, so as far as talking about teacher needs, mm-hmm. we need teachers in every field. Will many of those retirees come back as perm subs or partial subs? I'm sure that that is the cycle. A number of them will uh, will uh, reach the retirement, be able to, to to capitalize on that, but then be able to provide part time assistance uh, through a substitute. Okay. Yeah. Back to your list. Sorry to interrupt, sir. No, no. I, that uh, that pretty well sums everything up uh, for us this um, as we um, as we enter May. I can't believe we're already in May, yeah. but uh, we just love to celebrate and honor our students and staff every opportunity that we get. So, 
Well, Ron, congratulations on the job. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Looking forward to many more, uh, many more time, uh, hours in the seat here with you. I'll take you up on that, you know. <laughs> in fact, he's looking for somebody to kick me out, so you may be well, in line. I think that was a discussion before I got <laughs> right. here. Yeah, Bill. exactly. I, right. I do think so. Bill, I'm never removing you. That's what I tell him to his face. <laughs> That's exactly. You're entrenched, baby. Ron Stevens, permanent uh, superintendent of schools in Berkeley County, 